Partly gold and copper. This fly is there's a lot of gold in it, so I'm maybe actually having the gold at the back, which is at the tag area. Thread I'm going to be using just a uni thread AO in red. Simply start the thread near the end of the tube and work my way down. Just all the way down. Until basically if you imagine having a sleeve on your tube, just leave a space for that. Usually about a centimetre and less. This is a fine gold oval tinsel, so I'm going to use for the tag. Now, usually about five turns or so is enough. Just wind that down to that point there. And then, two, three. Try and get these nice and tight. And maybe another turn there, six turns actually. That'll do it. Just come across the thread, and I usually like to make sure this is wound down. Now, I'm using a dub body for this. You can have a plain body, I mean, and a tinsel body, or just a black floss, or whatever. This is, for this dressing, I'm using a dubbing. Now, two colours, I'm using a gold and a black, and this is the material here. It's basically, Samo Supreme Rainbow, which is going to be black, and this is the the outer gold version, which is these are good dubbins. Always the lighter to the back, so put the gold on first, and then the black will be going on. Now, before we do that, we tie in some pig bristle. Now, we've got some pig bristle here. This is large pig bristle uh, dyed black. Now I'm looking for enough to do it, maybe at least three, six, six feelers for three, three either side and curving away from the side of the tube. So, so we take three, get them so they're curving the same way. Length, tile up to yourself, but a good length. You're looking one, two, three times the length of the tube. So. It's an inch tube, so the three inches long. Just offer that to the side. Do the same to the other. You can have them different lengths if you want. Again, tie it on the side. Just measure them up. Just pull them in together like that, and you'll see the ends starting to line up. Then let them go. Just to give you an idea of the light. There we are. Okay, now at this point I like to make sure these are tied in. Tied in the full length of the body. So the stems of the, the bristles are really hard, so you have to make sure they're real tied in. Come back down. Now I'm gonna put some finer feelers. Now this is a dyed orange golden pheasant skin. And you could use red, red's a nice colour to use, but what you've got is the breast feather here, which I'm going to use. And it's naturally red, and then when you dye it orange, you've got a nice mixed ready orange, which is perfect. You're only looking for a short feather, it's not too long. Much the same as you would do in, the, say, the Francis, Francis shrimp, because this is basically, like, at this point, it's kind of Francis shrimp-like. So you make sure the ends are the same length. I just hold them on the side, come around with two or three loose turns. Again, make sure that they're sitting. I usually like them on the side and halfway into the anyone less, just no and not any more than halfway into the, the bristle. And so once you're happy you can tighten up. Again, just make sure these are tied in.
Because you're going to have a dub body here, you're not seeing any lumps or bumps or anything. So there's your small feeler, so that's getting to your shrimpy style. Your rib, I was back to the oval gold tinsel. I'm just going to tie that in the way down. Now we're ready for our dubbing, and the gold is first to go in. Just dub it onto your thread. You're looking around about halfway up. This, as I say, this is the outer gold. Just wind it up. Just twist every so often, just to tighten it. At this point, I'm just going to check and make sure it's nice and neat up against the tag. It's fine, so I'll just carry one up. And now, I'm going to the... In this case, it's the rainbow black. Nice and tight. It's easy to dub. It's really one of the easiest stubbins you could, you could probably use. It's important that you give yourself plenty of room towards the head because I'm going to put a body hackle on this uh, obviously a wing, puck tail and then a front hackle uh, a couple of front hackles so you need around about 3 mil, three to 4 millimetres from the end of the tube once you're happy, just remove your dubbing, the excess large orange hackle now this is a Chinese neck it's a long, it just happens to be a, a really good one, which has nice long fibres. And don't be shy with the fibres. Uh, fibre length, anyway. Make sure it's tied in. And then trim away. I always like to do a turn at the top. And then, not many turns down, just two or three. And then come through it with your, your rib holding it in. You're looking at a good, around about half a dozen tons of the rib. Just break off, or cut away the waist, ha waist end of the, the hackle and tie off your rib. Just always keeping things nice and tight. And trim away. Uh, at this point I like to Tidy up. Now I'm going to show you something just to give you an idea. I've got a hair dryer here just to give you a short idea of how the this hackle swims or looks. And as you can see, it stays well open and it makes for a very mobile hackle. So that's your shape there. You can bring out some of the flash if you wish. Now, I've got some dyed yellow bucktail and I've got a nice hot orange. Just want 50 50 here. Just cut away from the tails. And what I do is just simply roll these fibres together, mix them up, just keep going. And then just take twists out. Take away the under fur or broken ends. That's okay. Just lining up the ends now. You can either stack it if you wish. I'll show you. Got a stacker here. Just tap on your desk. Just line up the ends. Sometimes you have a bucktail that's it needs to be stacked to get the best out of it. There's your length. Now you, you want it shorter the tail. So if you imagine your pig bristle, you don't want it the full length. You want it just slightly, slightly back. It's around about twice the length of the tube. And then what I like to do is just roll the fibres all the way around. And then tighten up. It's something you've got to practice is rolling the hair around. you just got to have it in a way that it's, when you tighten the thread around, there's no interruptions, just keep going. If you stop, they'll, st they'll think it'll stop as well and they'll have trouble going back. So just trim away the, the excess. Just take your time. Watch your thread. Once you're happy, you can tighten up. All the way up. 
Pull it back. Anything going forward, just pull it back. Just see how it's looking? That's fine. Now, what I normally like to do at this point, especially near the end, I like to make sure I've got wax, uh, especially in the head area, so that basically when you're, when you're tying tubes, you don't have a huge amount of space. There you do. And I like to make sure that it's got all the grip it needs in terms of wax on my finger. Now, I had pre waxed the thread, I usually like to do that. There you go. It gives it a grip. As I say, I like to pre wax the thread well ahead, but when you're tying a fly this size, there's a lot of thread being used, so you, you're never going to wax enough. So then you can. There's a couple of hackles you could use. Now I've got. You can use golden pheasant, and there's a black golden pheasant feather. This is a breast feather again, dyed black, which will give you the length. Which will tie you on. You could use a Chinese if you want, and I do use the Chinese at times, so as long as they're long enough. Now. Because this is a tube, this is a short hackle, you're only going to get a couple of turns. So yeah. There we go. So I'm coming up with the thread, nice and tight. Show you what the turns there and then put that 90 degree bend into it. Just take your time. You can see there, if you can see that. And then trim away. So this is why you need the wax. It just gives you that extra. Gives you extra confidence in tying nice and tight. And as well it gives you the grip that you need. Now, we've got a Chinese purple. What's it got? Chinese neck dyed purple. It's one of the larger feathers. This totally changes the look of the fly, this purple. Let's tie it on. Break the tip off, and then probably a couple of turns is plenty. Length again, don't be shy with the length. And uh, I mean this is the longest hackle I've got in this colour, so, so I have to use. And it suits it because it's tapering. As you imagine, the hair is getting shorter as I go towards the head, and then. I mean, basically, they, they, they're all separate. They can swim different. They've all got their own movement at a point. Now, this is where you, again, you wax your thread. Tidy up. Let's take your time when you're doing this. Then we tie in some eyes. Jungle cock. Now, this is a good fly without the jungle cock on it. You can see the colour there. Um, it's really nice, clean. Uh, Again, I'll show you, just put a bit of life to it, and you'll see the, the hair dryer, just, it gives you the shape of the fly, and the colour combination, see how it sits. Now, as I say, jungle cock eyes, do, like it's a shrimpy type fly this, so you look shrimpy length. So, get two here, same length. See the underside, looking jungle cock body length. You can have it longer, you can have it shorter. It's entirely up to yourself. Show sure fly. Now I'm putting two on at the same time. See how they sit. Check the length. One shot on the other, just pull it so it sits. You can see that. There we go. Just double checking. Yeah, it's fine. And then for security, I like to, if you can, some stems are a wee bit heavy, you can't do this. But fold the, the, hackle, the hackles back, tuck them back. And then, again, tidy up. Now I'm going to break these away if I can. Can you get a neater cut if you do? It. And a wee thing I like to do in the flies 
is uh, put a bit of tinsel in the head area. Uh, this is quite thick. This is a medium tinsel, but you better with small. But this is the colour of I want, so I have to. It's all I've got, so I'm going to use it. I'm just catching it on the side. You can see it's an old gold colour, very yellow gold. And then I just decide it's going to touch the head of the, the fly. I'm just going to put the super glue on it, which will give you the grip. And then all the way around. And then bring a thread up beside it. And tie off really. Just basically keep the thread nice and tight. Trim away the excess here. Oops. Bit of hair there I don't want. Put a wax on my thread. And as I say, tidy up. You probably notice there's not a sleeve on this fly. It's just the holder I've got it is a square and it just sticks on. If you can't put the sleeve in, so turn these away. Now we're we to are. our finished fly. And as you can see, if I turn this round, you'll see the shape, where the wings are, or the jungle prop, sorry, um, and how the actual feelers are put on. I mean, it's a lovely colour combination.